Вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna do this 3D stylized coin in After Effects. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. So let's jump right into it. Find the coin you want to recreate and download the image and paste it right into the After Effects. Make the composition 180 by 180, 30 FPS and 3 seconds long. Adjust the image size, create a new layer, make it any color. With the layer selected, select a circular mask, double click on it and you have a perfect circle. Adjust the mask until it fits the size of the coin. Then let's rename this layer to base and duplicate it. Turn off the bottom layer. On upper layer, duplicate mask 1, set the mode to subtract, then fit it to this embossed edge of the coin. Turn back on the bottom layer and apply the gradient ramp effect on it. Set mode to radial ramp, put black color in the middle and white color on the edge. Then we must set the colors to yellowish orange, one of them must be light color and second one more dark. Then duplicate gradient ramp effect and pass it to the upper layer and change the color a bit. Perfect, now you can turn off the reference image. Change the upper layer name to edge. Duplicate it and change the name to shadow. Apply the fill effect, change the color to black. Press double M to open up all the mask properties. Scroll to the lower mask and play with the mask expansion to get thin black rim. Then feather it a bit to have softer look. When it's done, just lower the opacity of the layer. Then duplicate the edge layer again. The top layer renamed to the rim. After press double M and scroll down to the mask expansion of the second mask and play with it. You need to get really thin line on the edge. Apply fill effect to it and set the white color. Play with the feather of the mask to get more softer look. Then set the layer mode to additive. Lower the opacity of the layer. When it's done, you need to duplicate this layer and do the same look for opposite side. Next step will be creating the new shape layer. Make sure you have no fill effect and have on the stroke effect. Draw a thin line how I did on the rim of the coin and adjust the thickness of this line. Then open up the layer and go to Content, Shape, Stroke and on Line Cap set the round cap. Next step will be adding the repeater effect on this layer. Open up a repeater, transform repeater, set 0 on the position, then find the rotation, alt click on a stopwatch, and here we need to type really simple expression, 360 divide by the number of the copies. Now all the strokes will be equally spread on the edge of the coin, no matter number do we choose. Apply the fill effect on this layer and choose the dark brown color. Second effect that we need to apply is fast box blur. Put the really low number here like 0.2 for make it softer look. Also adjust the opacity of the layer. Choose all the layers and pre-compose it. Set the name of the sequence coin base. Now bring back our reference layer to the top and turn it on. Create a new layer, the color doesn't matter now. Turn this layer off for you can see the reference image. Then choose your mask pen and draw over all the elements of the coin like ornaments, decorative elements, text or numbers. When it's done, you'll have the same result as me. As you see, I separated different elements on different layers. Now I will choose all the ornament elements and pre-compose it. You can notice the lack of elements on the right part of the coin. Oh, an observation, huh? But who the hell are you, man? And that's what we're gonna fix now. Apply the mirror effect on the layer that must be symmetrical. Put the reflection center on the right place and immediately you'll see the effect. After apply the gradient ramp effect, set the colors so that are close to the colors of the base of the coin that we made previously. Now we need to make it look more three-dimensionally. First easy way is to apply the element called color emboss. Playing with a couple parameters of here can give you the good result. On the other hand, and not giving you good controls over it. And because of it, we will make a more complex approach. I will delete color emboss effect and let's apply drop shadow effect. Here you can play with the opacity, distance, softness and direction to make it look good. Next should be CC light sweep effect. Firstly, it doesn't look good. You need to put big values on the width parameter. Then, when you can see the specular, you can lower the sweep intensity, set it to zero, and play with the edge intensity, and also with the edge thickness to get the right look. Also, don't forget to play with the direction and the light color. Then, simply copy all the effects but mirror and paste to other elements. All you need to do now is make small changes to adjust the colors and look. When you're finished, let's copy coin base, put that layer on the top, apply the fractal noise effect. 
Here we need to make a small changes to the transform size. We can lower the complexity and also play with the contrast and brightness a bit. Then let's set the mode of the layer to classic color burn. Set the opacity layer around 10%. Finally choose all the layers and pre-compose it. Name the composition 2D coin. Make the layer 3D and... Now let me tell you something, boy. We need to duplicate the layer and shift it a bit on Z position to make a 3D look effect. But do it manually it takes a lot of time. So I suggest you to make it smartly with me. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. Let's open position of the layer and alt click on the stopwatch. Type next expression. You do want to express yourself, don't you? On the square brackets you need to type value 0, comma value 1 that tells After Effects to leave X and Y position the same and after second comma index multiplied by 4 where index represents the number of the layer in the hierarchy. Now if you will start to duplicate the layers you'll see how X Y position remains the same but Z position will change for each layer. If you change your camera view to custom view and rotate the camera you can see the depth of your coin. Simply keep duplicating the layer until you will be satisfied with the thickness of your coin. Then choose back your active camera. After check the Z position of the first and the last layer. Create new null object. Open the position properties. Here we need to place our null object right between first and last layer. Click on a Z value and now you can use this window as a calculator. Write down Z value of the last layer minus Z value of the first layer. Put this in a parenthesis and divide it by 2. Now the null object is right in the middle between first and the last layer. That will help us to control the rotation of the coin more precisely. Set the name for a null object coin controller and parent all other layers to it. Then press R to open the rotation parameters. Turn your coin to 180 degrees. You'll see that your coin is flipped. To fix that you need to go to the last layer, press R to get to the rotation parameters and put 180 degrees on the Y. Now you can get back to null object and just rotate the coin to make sure that is right now. After let's create an adjustment layer and call it FX. Then let's apply CC light sweep effect on it. Here let's rotate the specular line, change the shape to smooth and play with a bunch of parameters to make it look good. The final question will be covered here in the lesson is what if I need this controller layer somewhere else not in this composition. So let's make it happen. Select all the 3D layers of the coin and pre-compose it. Call it something like 3D coin. Then let's jump right inside this composition and choose all the layers but first and print it to the first layer. Then click on composition tab and choose undock panel. Place it somewhere above and on lower tabs choose our coin composition where we had our controller layer what we made before. Then all you need to do is alt click on Y rotation of our coin first layer and print it to Y rotation of the controller layer. Now you know how to make a controller of the coin from different composition. If you want to have a blur during the rotation, you need to turn on the blur for the composition. After you need to turn on the blur tag for all the 3D layers of the coin. You'll see result immediately. To control this blur, go to composition settings, advanced, and here we have a shutter angle and samples per frame. You can lower the samples to make render faster and then lower the shutter angle to make it not so blurry during the rotation. Congratulations, now you have your own coin you make by yourself, like a bank. Here comes the money! Here we go! Now you can easily pass it in different projects. As a reference I made a little animation that is made like a Lottie windscreen. Or you can use it even like a texture for the 3D coin like I did for an intro picture. And of course you can recognize it in my stand with the Ukraine outro. So hope you like it, enjoy it, subscribe my channel, ring the bell to not miss even more cool tutorials. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuff like realistic rain shader pack, modular corn and many more. Also I have a Patreon when you can find all my tutorials and tutorial project files and much more. So be my Patreon, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine, that is very important now. So stand with Ukraine, Virta Vzasu, Tavsebude, Ukraina.